Now at five, a man shot and killed during a traffic stop. <laughs> a police body camera captures the whole thing. If it were not for that video camera, Sam would be no different than all of the other incidents. Tonight, a Cincinnati police officer indicted. And this officer is charged with murder in the shooting of Samuel DuBose. Today, DuBose's family and city leaders spoke about the indictment. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez joins us in the studio with the story getting national attention tonight. Elliot. Well, Rick and Erica, police body cam video left little doubt about what happened in this case. The officer fired a single shot at a motorist. He stopped for not having a proper license plate, and now that officer is facing murder charges. I'm asking you a direct question. Do you have your license? The July 19th traffic stop is captured on University of Cincinnati Police Officer Ray Tensing's body camera. It captures the moments after Tensing stopped 43-year-old Samuel DuBose for driving without a license plate on the front of his car. What did you pull me over for? Again, the front tag. But it's not even on the front tag. Okay. Actually, it is. Tensing asked DuBose again if he had a license, and DuBose gives the officer his name, but not his license. At one point during the stop, DuBose hands the officer a bottle of alcohol that was inside the car. The officer continues asking DuBose about his license and asks him to take his seatbelt off. That's when the two struggle as DuBose remains inside the car and the officer fires one fatal shot. <laughs> After seeing the video and looking at the evidence, a grand jury handed down murder charges. Purposeful killing of another. That's what makes it murder. He purposely killed him. The cop had his license plate number. I mean, it, it, was, it was so unnecessary for this to have occurred. But my son, he had the same spirit that dwells in me, dwell in him. That's how he was fed. So, and, and so if my son is righteous and he get killed, somebody had to be wicked here. Officer Tensing turned himself in today. In a police report, he told another officer he fired after DuBose tried to run him over with his car. Family members say the body cam video made the difference in bringing the officer to justice. If it were not for that video camera, Sam would be no different than all of the other incidents because the second officer was ready to corroborate every lie that the first officer said in the report. So I just want to be very clear that we feel for a lot of families out there. That man shot my brother dead. This would be the same if it were not for that video camera. Now, the University of Cincinnati closed its campus today in anticipation of any demonstrations as a result of the video. An attorney for Samuel DeBose family said they want peaceful reactions because Samuel was a peaceful person. In the newsroom, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you. And look for much more on the officer's indictment coming up on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. That's ahead at 630.